Today, we're continuing to cover the LoveMeg refund issue on Uscreen. After I made my previous video on LoveMeg having issues sending out refunds, I received several DMs from her customers. Some of her customers are still being charged for content, even though she's not posting. LoveMeg and Justin publicly stated they no longer want to be content creators and they want a private life. Then she fell off the face of the earth, leaving her customers hanging. We have a lot to talk about today. Let's get started. In the previous video I made about Love Meg and Justin's refund issues, Justin stated Uscreen does not have the capability to send out refunds. Justin kind of came off like he was blaming Uscreen, like this is Uscreen's fault. We thought they could handle refunds. They told us they couldn't. So now it's a big mess and I have to clean it up. That's kind of how he came off in his stories. I googled Uscreen refund policy. I found this statement under the publisher terms of service. So this statement applies to Love Meg because she's the publisher. All monthly fees, platform fees, and development fees to Uscreen are final. They are not refundable. If you're on a month-to-month -month agreement with Uscreen, either party holds the right to cancel service at any time within a 30-day notice period. I also found this information, how to refund through Uscreen. If you need to refund a customer, there are ways you can go about it. Use the Sales tab or the People tab. Uscreen does not allow for partial refunds, but partial refunds can be managed through Stripe. I'm not going to read all the directions here, but from what I can tell, it looks like Justin and Meg can go into their creator side of Uscreen and issue refunds. But Justin made it sound like he's unable to do that. He made it sound like Uscreen is no help at all and they just threw their hands up and he's having to handle all of this on his own. I found all of this information at help.uscreen.tv. It doesn't seem like they did any research. It doesn't seem like any of this was thought out or planned. Like I said in the previous video, they just woke up one morning and said, okay, we're done, we quit. So they quit without doing any research on how to actually handle this process. And I think their customers are suffering the consequences. I don't think they gave their customers enough information on how this all works. Now, I do think it is your responsibility as a customer to read the terms of service, to know how to cancel and things like that. But it would have been nice if Justin and Meg would have given their customers a heads up on how to do things, how the process works, and how to cancel your membership. Because I think a lot of Love Meg's customers just assumed, okay, she's quitting, her platform is being shut down on you screen, so I don't have to cancel. But that's not true. You actually need to go in and cancel your membership in order to not be billed. Some people didn't know that, didn't realize they needed to do that, and they're still being billed for Love Meg's video subscription. You must cancel your payment plan according to the terms of service of that specific plan prior to the next charge in order to avoid billing. That statement is extremely important because several customers have reached out to me and let me know they are currently still being billed for their Love Meg subscription and she canceled her platform back in April. This whole situation just seems messy. I don't know if Love Meg and Justin could have gone in and just canceled everything on Uscreen to prevent their customers from being charged in May. I don't know if that's possible. This whole thing is just messy. I feel like they just did not do their research. They didn't provide their customers with enough information. A lot of people are confused, a lot of people are upset, and a lot of people were charged for the month of May. Hey, wanted to show you this. Love Meg website is still attempting to take payments, even though she's no longer posting. The only reason they were unable to process my payment is because it's an old expired card. So I wonder how many people with valid card details are still being charged. I'm sure everyone with a valid card who was subscribed to Love Meg got charged in May. Why would some people be charged and others not be charged. This adds a whole nother problem to their current issues. They're already having issues refunding people. Now they've charged everybody for the month of May, allegedly charged everybody, okay? Two people have reached out to me, but it makes no sense for the website to charge two people and not everyone, you know? Like, I don't think they would have just chosen two people to charge for the month of May. So I'm sure this happened to everyone. A few viewers told me there are more than 100 comments on one of her videos and you can't leave a comment unless you're a paid subscriber. 
So I think it's pretty safe to say she has at least 100 subscribers. I would guess and say she has somewhere between 100 or 200. I don't think she has more than 200 because if she was making a ton of money on this platform, she would still be making content. But she's not making enough money to justify her time. That's my opinion. I wanted to know if they had contacted this viewer about a refund. The viewer said, no, my card expired a couple of weeks before she canceled the site. So I didn't bother to update my card details as I didn't want to continue with my subscription anyway. But the past two months, I've gotten these emails to say we attempted to process a subscription payment. I would love to know why they are trying to attempt more payments if they have no intention on ever posting again. I'm sure there are people with valid card details who are probably still being charged because they are clearly still attempting payments. If Love Meg and Justin were on top of this, this would have never happened. This should have never happened. Okay, next I want to show you some screenshots a viewer sent me from Love Meg's platform. People are leaving comments on the goodbye video and from what I can see, Love Meg has not responded to anyone's comment. Surprise, surprise. I signed up in August for a full year, so I do hope I get refunded for the remaining months. I saw that your older videos are up on YouTube. Same, I signed up in September and wondering where the refunds are, especially since we have no way to contact Meg or Justin. Yeah, I doubt we'll get a refund at this point. So disappointed I fell for this scam. I hope you the best. We are still being charged though. My May payment just hit my bank. Okay, here is proof that some of her customers are still being charged for May. Next, I want to read some comments that were left on my previous video about Love Meg's refund issues. A viewer said, someone called Uscreen and they said refunds need to be handled by the creators. They are shifting blame to the platform. Can't they actually take accountability for anything? These two are jokes. It's so crazy, a simple Google search explains and shows step-by-step -step videos of how the creator can refund their customers. Do they think people are clueless? Right, this is a screenshot I showed you at the beginning of this video. If you go to Uscreen's website, they do give step-by-step -step instructions on how to give refunds. Of course, he's asking people to just let them slide on refunding their money. They failed to provide the services they promised, two to seven videos a week. So technically, you should refund everyone who subscribed. Now I wanna give you a few suggestions on what to do if you're being charged for the month of May if you have not received your refund, etc. You can tweet at Uscreen. They have a Twitter account. You can also call your credit card company and dispute the charge. It's a shame you have to do this, but here we are. And let me try to find a phone number for Uscreen. You can call Uscreen at 1-877-790-9757 or email them at sales at uscreen.tv. I'm suggesting you should reach out to Uscreen because we can't reach Love Meg. She has abandoned her Instagram account and created a private account and we can't reach her on the private account. Justin has disappeared off Instagram too. He made those one stories that one day and he's been gone since. This is a mess and it shouldn't be. Influencers are really good at taking your money, but when it comes to refunds, customer service, replying to comments and messages, they're awful. They have no customer service skills. They don't take care of their customers when it comes to issues like this. In the goodbye video, Justin and Love Meg stated they would be issuing refunds. They publicly made that statement, so we are going to hold them to it. And if we have to blow this up and bring a lot of attention to this, then we just will because it's the right thing to do. They made a promise. Keep your promise. I reached out to you screen on Twitter because I feel like something needs to be done. You guys need to stop being charged for content that you're not getting, and you also need the refund Love Meg promised you. I sent this message to you screen on Twitter. I'll let you know if they respond. I said, hi, a content creator on your platform, Megan Hickman, Love Meg, promised customers refunds last month, and most of her customers are still waiting on their refund. Plus, she is continuing to charge customers for their monthly subscription, even though she notified her customers that she no longer wanted to be a content creator and stopped posting content last month. We have no way to reach her. Please help. If you're a customer of Love Meg's and you're waiting on your refund and you're still being charged, send her a message, send Justin a message. Don't let them get away with this. You deserve your refund. They promised you a refund. Contact Uscreen. Do everything you can to get this resolved.
What are your thoughts on this? Leave a comment. I'll give you an update when I have something to update you on. Thanks for watching today. See you next time.